Welcome back, all you poetry personalities. This is Medium Rare Poetry, and my name is Phil A. Mignon. We're continuing today with our theme regarding the ascension of King Charles III to the British throne. And today's poem is related to the actual coronation itself, a very ancient ceremony and riveting television. I present to you today the Coronation Shuffle. Coronation Shuffle by Phil A. Mignon Made a lovely pot of tetley and a coronation quiche. The smart TV was tuned in and the dog put on the leash. Seven decades had elapsed, you see, since Britain had a king. Now we weren't taking chances, we were not to miss a thing. The last eight months had seen Prince Charles fluff up his old ideals, but now the time had come for him to shed his training wheels. Four thousand troops were drilling to avoid a great kerfuffle. A vast parade rehearsed to march the coronation shuffle. KC3 with Sunshine Band crawled off towards the Abbey. An Aussie horse-drawn carriage made him seem as none too shabby. Accompanied by his consort, they appeared a little nervous. Their freedoms now surrendered for a life of sober service. They didn't really have a choice. Their destiny was set. With starch white shirt and upper lip, there was no time to fret. Majestically, they made the trip with pomp and circumstance. The loving pair were to be crowned, a noble happenstance. The church was overflowing with the planet's most elite. Couturiers had spasmed, gilding all from head to feet. The orchestra was soaring and the trumpets blew the call. The only way to silence all the gossip in the hall. Soprano voices crooned the entrance of the future king. Seemed Christmas had come early, hark the herald angels sing. And there they were, like rabbits, caught within the headlights glare. It may have been the awesome crowd that overwhelmed the pair. Attendants held their trains aloft, most notably Prince George, preventing them from sweeping all the dust upon the floor. The marathon procession saw them find their front row seats. The golden-clad archbishop checked their authorised receipts. When all was found in order, the palaver then began. When countless oaths were mumbled, making Charles the Brit's front man. They lauded him with presents, second hand from Towers Nick. And then he was anointed, so no scandal now could stick. They handed him the biro, and thank God it didn't leak. He signed up for his duty, no rude swearing did he speak. And then the fledgling royals made their way to velvet chairs, presented with their diadems which ruffled up their hairs. I'd wondered why the barber hadn't trimmed his eyebrow frown. Like Velcro, they prevented any slippage of the crown. Then it was done. We'd witnessed a fresh-minted king and queen, the oldest royal interns that the world had ever seen. With regal necks now straining underneath their brand new hats, they left the splendid building while the rain could drown a rat. A vast array of carriages lined up to hit them all. They even had a sulky, made for Harry after all. They plotted to the palace for a soggy pipe salute. The military assemblage made three cheers for King Canute. A massive crowd assembled for the coronation wave. Upon the ancient balcony, some thought they must be brave. And so this new beginning has reset Great Britain's goals. Their KC3 will steer his flock, avoiding life's potholes. Their penchant for all fizzy drinks, including lukewarm ale, replaced by healthy dark green shakes derived from Charlie's kale. And all fast food is banished, save for halibut and chips, a saving for the NHS averting excess scripts. 
Enlightened times are coming in this Carolean age. Daughters Chris and Carol will eclipse all Karen rage. Well, what a great show KC3 and the Sunshine Man and everybody else put on. And the Brits turned out in their hundreds and thousands, regardless of the weather. Well, they're used to it, you know. So now we're in the Carolean age and all will be well for a while. That's it for today. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe and join our tribe and press the like button and share this with your friends. I would be ever so grateful. You have a wonderful day. God save the King and bye bye for now.